Hello, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, Council members, staff, and members of the public. This is Shiri Klima, your Deputy City Manager. And I'd like to uh, present to you today the status and accomplishments of Measure O in 2021 and talk a little bit about the weaning process that we've begun. The recommendation is that the City Council receive and file the annual update and then open the conversation regarding the Measure O weaning schedule. As of January 4th, 2022, there were 42 active Measure O projects. 25 of those are ongoing operational projects. Five of those are ongoing debt service items and 12 are one-time projects. The ongoing projects receive a specific amount of funds each fiscal year. And if that money is unused, it does not roll over. It gets reabsorbed into the Measure O fund balance. The one-time projects receive funding only once, and that money can roll over to the next fiscal year. But once it is used, that is it, the project is completed. As you know, this was an incredibly tough year for everybody due to COVID. In terms of the delivery of projects, between staffing shortages and stay-at-home orders and programs that had to be on hold due to health and safety concerns, as well as global supply chain, the global supply chain crisis, our staff had a real challenge in terms of delivering these um, projects. However, they were incredibly successful. The Measure O projects had a lot of accomplishments that were critical to our community. And I'd like to highlight some of those right now. The Homework Center um, in the main library served over 112 students and dedicated almost 80 hours um, by staff to digital homework help. Um, over 9,000 people have been reached via social media marketing. And you can see we have plenty of parent comments, um, such as the one highlighted that says, I'm happy the library has the in-person homework center option because I feel my child concentrates better when in person. The library Wi-Fi operational um, in 2021 was utilized by 444, uh, I'm sorry, 4,479 users. Um, there were over 84 digital programs and content engagements with over 10,000 community members attending between July 1st and January 11th of 2022. Um, so this enabled the COVID safety guidelines to be followed for staff and the community while still allowing Wi-Fi to be available to the public. The library integrated system, um, which uh, has uh, migrated over 20, 200 and 20,000 records during COVID closures to a new system um, without interruption to public service. Um, over 53,000, almost 54,000 physical items were checked out in 2021 um, in person and via curbside pickup. 250 book orders have been sent to the library's book vendor. Um, just under 4,000 new items were cataloged and added to the collection in 2021. And the new system provides online tracking of materials from order to claims. Recreation services um, supported after school programs for 10 local schools, and the program served over 1,000 children grades. Uh, one through eight. Oxnard after school program 
supported um, after school programs for 20 local schools. And the program served over 1,500 children, grades one through eight. Pal Operational served almost 7,000 people. Um, the PAL site was being used as a, as a shelter, and the programs have been conducted off-site. Um, and so you can see some of the project accomplishments. They're tremendous. The PAL Community Cinema had 3,000 viewers. We had a backpack dist distribution. We had meetup and cleanups. In November, there was a turkey giveaway gave away over 500 turkeys. And in December, there was a toy giveaway um, at Southwinds Colonia and at College Park. So PAL was incredibly, um, incredibly instrumental this year in getting our community through um, regular times and COVID specific needs. The College Park programs, um, provided a food distribution every Wednesday that served 1,500 families weekly. Um, this was incredibly influential in providing food to a lot of our neediest residents. The College Park fields were open for soccer reservations and served over 150 soccer teams. City Court Townskeeper. Um, the projects were scheduled based on community needs and essential services. Um, the townskeeping crews continue to provide the citywide cleanup activities. They also, the city core also helps with different community events like festivals and neighborhood cleanups. Preschool to you in 2021 was offered five mornings a week. Um, in the summer session, five afternoons were also added in addition to the mornings. And in 2021, Preschool to You served 829 children. The Mobile Activity Center services um, in the spring session operated five afternoons a week. In the summer session, the mornings were also added in. And this program served 1,394 residents. The Senior Nutrition Program, yet another really instrumental program for our community. Um, in 2021, Hot Meals to Go were available for pickup at the Wilson and the Palm Vista Senior Center. Um, home delivered meals were served five days a week. Um, and in 2021, over 46,000 meals were served. The city currently serves 121 homebound seniors. Day at the park, special needs. Um, in 2021, they had to improvise as well. And they offered special pops fun club and art classes. They offered special pops baseball and golf and special pops events in the fall and winter. In 2021, this project served 935 participants, and the Oxnard Special Population continued virtual programming through the pandemic, offering virtual fun club and art classes. Once the restrictions were lifted, the sports and garden programming, along with special events such as the art show, Halloween drive through and toy drive became available. Yet another huge success in among Measure O programs. The Ormond Beach Enhancement, um, the focus on 2021 was ongoing monitoring on the establishment of the natives that were planted and the regrowth of the non-natives. The Measure O audit, not an exciting, but an incredibly important um, function of Measure O to, um, to fund um, audits by the external auditor of the Measure O fund and make sure that everything is done as it ought to be in compliance with um, accounting rules. There were no audit findings related to Measure O this year. 
fires advanced life support. The funds allow the fire department to provide advanced life support services to the community. This is a, an incredibly important um, program that we offer and allows us to increase our service level from the basic life support services that were previously um, provided. Um, the squad unfortunately has been browned out and the qualified paramedics work in paramedic capacity while on duty to assist with the increased calls for medical services due to COVID, uh, providing an increased level of service for all areas of Oxnard. Fire Station 8 um, covers 21 sworn personnel that staff one fire engine and a fire truck 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Um, fire Station 8 um, dispatched 4,461 emergency responses in 2021. So tremendously important for us to be able to staff one more fire station through Measure O. The homeless program continued operation of the homeless uh, bed shelter on K Street. This is 110 bed sh shelter. And so 110 people were served daily. Um, this program also successfully um, reached out to the folks that were at the homeless encampment at Palico and helped them to get their services that they so desperately need. The 911 system, CAD RMS, um, this is, this, what this program does is it provides data integration between the 911 system and the records management system. And so it allows staff to identify and separate calls by the type of um, service needed or the emergency. So it allows the city to respond to the most dire requests in the least amount of time. In 2021, over 268,000 calls were made to the 911 system. And so the, the New World Public Safety System was able to determine which of these were the highest priority calls and be able to get those folks assistance as quickly as possible. This is a really important um, mechanism for our public safety to be able to um, really get out to the urgent and most important calls first, rather than just taking them in the order that they call, come in. Enhanced uh, community policing. Um, this is a um, team of field officers that implement longer term solutions beyond what can be solved with the 911 call. They are a proactive group that um, are very highly involved with the community and have a positive impact on response times and community relations. The police department in general reported uh, part one property crimes that um, experienced a 20% reduction. Overall, part one violent crimes experienced a 6.3% reduction. The homeless liaison officers responded to over 4,000 calls for service invo involving the homeless. And the police reallocated two positions back to the neighborhood policing team increasing the total number to nine officers. This is a really important um, way for us to be proactive rather than just reactive to public safety concerns. East Village Park Operating Maintenance. This is the uh, fund that allows us to continue ongoing general maintenance and utilities for East Village Park. Um, this funding pays for five permanently assigned uh, employees and all the operational costs. So everything that you saw happen at East Village Park um, this year was very much related to this Measure O funding. 
The ITS annual maintenance, the city is upgrading the centralized traffic signal system. And in the meantime, this project improves the signal timing and performs equipment replacements um, at needed locations to help maintain the 165 signal locations in the city. In the beginning of 2020, 2021, signal maintenance responded to and completed 122 signal requests received through the Oxnard 311 system. Um, Alley and Roadway re Repair was able to do a lot of critically funded, uh, critically needed repairs in the beginning of 2021. Um, they responded to about 444 locations that needed road repairs. And in 2021, across the, the entire year, they used um, 1,310 tons of hot asphalt that covered approximately 163,000 square feet. College Park Maintenance, um, this program also offers the ongoing general maintenance and utilities of College Park. And so a lot of what you saw occurring in College Park um, was paid for out of the five permanently assigned employees and all the operational costs, they were all paid for out of Measure O. And so these are the um, projects that Measure O paid for. As I mentioned, Measure O did also um, have ongoing debt service items, um, five items they're listed in the staff report, um, and some one-time projects as well that we've made progress on, some at a slower pace, because of the global supply chain crisis, but we are still making progress on a lot of those projects. Um, there were so many huge successes for Measure O in 2021, and it really was a challenging year. So we're very proud of what we were able to do that, and we really are eager to get going again, and hopefully with less restrictions in 2022. That's the annual. Um, report portion of this item. I also want to point out, as is listed in the staff report, that we have begun the weaning process. Um, we have gone to council and discussed with you the need for weaning. And then we've gone back to the Measure O committee and asked them more specifically to help us put together the weaning schedule um, to recommend to you. At the fall um, meeting of Measure O, staff provided to the Measure O committee a couple of options for a weaning schedule. And if you look at the ongoing non-debt programs, there are 25 of them that we just went through, um, removing the one program, which was um, the audit function of Measure O to audit itself. The 24 remaining ongoing programs are what we need to wean. And when we say wean, we mean transfer them in some way to the general fund to continue those ongoing services. Um, we do, I will, I will say um, in parentheses, we would, do need to evaluate those programs and, and think through whether the allocated amounts are the correct amounts. Um, and we will do that methodically as we wean those programs. But assuming for a moment that those are the correct amounts, um, they total in the 21-22 budget, those 24 programs we're just over 14.4 million, $14 million. And if you wean over an eight year period steadily, that means you'd be weaning $1.8 million of ongoing programs per year. 
moving them from measure O into the general fund as you evaluate them. That was the recommendation that staff gave to the measure O committee. And we gave them four different um, ways in which they could do that. For example, if they wanted to wean public safety programs first, or if they wanted to wean um, staff first, um, such that they move employees onto the general fund, or you know, we offered a couple of different options. The options that we offered were clearly not the only options. There are a whole host of other options available for how to wean. And indeed, the Measure O Committee recommended that the weaning process happen in four years, not in eight years, so in double time. That would mean um, that rather than $1.8 million of ongoing uh, programming moving from Measure O to the general fund per year, we'd now be doing it at a speed of 3.6 um, million dollars per year. Staff is still evaluating this because we'd like to come back to council with, um, with the Measure O committee's recommendation and with our thoughts on that recommendation. Um, so we are trying to Determine right now, first of all, what is the impact of that faster weaning? Um, and that we are um, about to finalize, but the bigger question is, what is it in the current budget and in future years budgets that we anticipate as one-time um, needs that can be transferred to Measure O um, while the Measure O programs are transferred to the general fund. Remember, we're not stumbling on extra cash, but as we wean from the ongoing programs from Measure O to the general fund, um, that does free up new Measure O money for projects. We don't want those to be ongoing projects because then we'd have to wean those as well. So we want them to be one-time projects. Um, however, as that process happens, the general fund is absorbing more and more projects. So the general fund has less of a capacity to do a lot of projects. So we are um, attempting to figure out a good methodology to propose to the council um, about how to go about this process, keeping in mind what the Measure O Commission recommended. We will be back to you in the spring or summer with that recommendation. This completes my report, and I'll be happy to answer questions as well as other staff members answering questions about specific programs. We'll be happy to answer those at the council meeting. Thank you.